Caitlin. And I'm Sydney. And this video is 19 Things About Abilene. Let's get started. First fact is that you can get anywhere in 15 minutes. So from the north side to the south side it is 15 minutes at most. That's a really cool thing about Abilene because there's never really any traffic. So mm -hmm. getting place to place is not trouble at all. Yeah, I mean, if it's more than 15 minutes and you know something's wrong, so. <laughs> <laughs> we have over 4,000 military personnel that come through Abilene. I mean, you get stationed here, you get, you know, placed somewhere else, but we always have that coming in. We always have those jobs and houses that we need to sell to those people. And that's a, something that never stops coming. Uh, number three, Abilene has four universities. So we have Hardin Simmons, ACU, McMurray, and Cisco Junior College. So if you're looking for a town with colleges to choose from, Abilene is a great town to keep in mind. Mm -hmm. We're going to be posting videos about how pet friendly it is in Abilene to come, but I mean, you can walk your dogs down the street. I was just walking today and we'll stop and we'll say hi to all the puppies, but it's pet friendly. We love to see the pets on the streets. We love to have kids. And why am I saying and kids? And we have <laughs> kids friendly. <laughs> yeah, and so we have Petco, we have PetSmart, we mm -hmm. have Pam's Pet Store. So if you do have any pets, we have tons of pet stores for them. Yeah, we have multiple dog parts and different um, apartment complexes and different housing places. We have um, over there in Cedar Elm, they're having a new dog park, a new mm -hmm. um, kids swimming pool. The possibilities are endless when it comes to dogs. Yeah, and we have a video <laughs> coming up showing the dog park, so we'll have that up pretty soon too. Um, number five, the weather in Abilene is always changing. It'll snow one day, rain one day, it's sunny the next, mm -hmm. so it is always changing. You never know what it's going to be. We have um, posted some pictures where it'll be like seriously so hot and then the next day is it's snow. Raining. So or snowing. It's snowing. Yeah. <laughs> right it's now it's raining. So, yeah. <laughs> So you need hairspray. That's how I get through the life. <laughs> we have endless coffee shops, just like we have churches here in Abilene. I mean, you walk down the street, there's a coffee shop, and it's either a mobile one or if there's two of each. We have the local ones such as um, Big Country Coffee. We have Starbucks. We have Monks. We have Mezzanies. I mean, all of the ones. I mean, Mezzanies also serves alcohol. So and they have what karaoke nights, yeah, karaoke. and you'll see that all in our video when we post our coffee video. Yeah. Which so is when one everything of our opens up again after the coronavirus, <laughs> you can check out all these places. There's yes. tons of coffee shops. And number seven, we have churches on almost every block. So mm -hmm. along with the coffee shops, there are churches. There are so many to choose from. Whichever denomination you are, I mean, there are churches on every single block. Seriously, we're in the middle of the Bible Belt, yeah. so there are there's no shortage of churches. Um, you'll see a lot of new construction downtown. We have the Soda District; it's popping up, and honestly, it's probably already done by yeah. now. Um, we have the Green Room; it's a new bar. We have um, there's a new brewery coming downtown too. There's literally all kinds of stuff. We have Vagabond Pizza; it's not that old. Um, when I was younger, downtown wasn't as fun as it is now, but I mean, it's where all of the college students hang out. Mm -hmm. And the local is brand new too. Yes. That's a really cool <laughs> taco place. So there's tons of options downtown now. I mean, every single day you can walk outside, no matter rain or sunshine, you can almost have a beautiful sunset yeah. in Abilene. I mean, it's one of the qualities that we love about our town, yes, that yeah. everybody that comes through town, you'll see videos and pictures. And yeah, we're going to also throw a clip about in, too. Like, it is, like, one of the prettiest sunsets that we just happen to is. catch one night. I mean, it almost every night is, like, the prettiest Pink sunset. Pink and so. orange and yeah. red. We love it. <laughs> so, number 10, there is a very small town feel, and we have Buffalo Gap, which has Perini's and smaller restaurants like that, and that's something to check out for sure. It's mm -hmm. really cool that you can still feel, like, the big town and, like, the mall and mm -hmm. everything like that, and then there's so much of a small town field to you out in Potosi and Buffalo Gap. Yeah, and I mean, she grew up at Wiley, which is one of the biggest schools in Abilene, and then I grew up in Jim Ned, mm -hmm. but she still has that same small town feel as yeah. I do. And when you come from Tuscola mm -hmm. into Abilene, it's like breath of fresh air. So I mean. Yeah. I feel like Abilene's a really good size if you like yes. the middle, in between a really mm -hmm. big town and a really small town. We just touched on this, but we have a lot of good school districts. We have Jim Ned, we have Wiley, we have Abilene mm -hmm. High and Cooper. Um, I mean, there's, and there's middle schools for each of those yeah. in town, and it's just depending on where you live and the closest that you are to that. So sometimes they'll, you can have, be in walking distance or you can take the bus for a short distance. But I mean, mm -hmm. just like churches, we have schools. <laughs> <So many> schools <laughs> yes, and they're all so great. Like you can't go wrong with any of them. It just kind of depends where you live, what school district mm -hmm. you'll go to. There's bigger ones, smaller ones, so. And number 12, we have tons of fun activities for kids. So 
And at some of our videos, we're going to show the splash pad, the water park, the zoo, the drive-in, things like that. A <laughs> ton of fun things for kids to do. So. The Grace Museum, I mean, it's open, it's free on Thursdays. Um, and mm -hmm. that's one of those things me and my sister oh, love to do. Oh, and Frontier, Texas. Yes, we Frontier, Texas. We went there. You'll yeah. see some videos of that. Um, we have so many just museums and we have the historical village. I don't mm -hmm. know if you said that, but that's out in Buffalo Gap. And Buffalo Gap is the closest thing you can get to a small town field around here. It's awesome. So we have some really great restaurants here. We have locally owned, we have chain restaurants. I mean, Abilene has this big oval of restaurants that you can go to. I mean, on every corner we have Perini's, we have um, Copper Creek, and those are some of the more high-end restaurants, but we have Torchy's Tacos coming and Bahama Bucks. Mm -hmm. We have so many things coming. that are coming this summer and a year to come. Yes. And also, it is so important to support local businesses right now, yes. and a lot of restaurants are doing to-go things and family packs, so I know that Perini's is, Copper Creek, Firehouse Subs, you can go get that to-go. There are Miguel's. tons of local <laughs> restaurants, and it's so important to support them right now. Yes. So we have tons of things that come to Abilene. We have rodeos, we have concerts, we have Outlaws and Legends. Mm -hmm. um, I've never personally been, but I think Caitlin has. Yeah. Um, it's really fun. I mean, even though Abilene is small, it has a lot to offer, and people are always coming in and bringing um, all kinds of stuff. We had food truck gatherings. We have um, just concerts out mm -hmm. in the open. I think we have the Rhythm and Blues Festival, yes. which I love. Um, and then Dancing with the Stars. Yes. Did you talk about that one? No, I didn't. So they do this every year. It's a big fundraiser for um, a boy's ranch. And a ton of people in Abilene come together and they train for like months to put on this dance. And it's a big competition. So that's another really cool thing that Abilene puts on. <laughs> so number 15, we have tons of upcoming construction. As you mentioned before, downtown is coming up. But also so um, close to the colleges, there's a new um, shopping center with Bahama Bucks and Torchies mm -hmm. and things like that coming. But downtown, we talked about the new brewery coming. There's different bars, restaurants. So Abilene is constantly growing. It's mm -hmm. growing really fast. So And even with that, we have houses. I mean, these developers have come in and bought hundreds of acres and you're just seeing houses after houses being built and it's an awesome thing to see and we'll never run out of homes hopefully for the people coming in. <laughs> so we have over 120,000 people in Abilene and hopefully that keeps growing with military and hospital. I mean and in these times we're in that's stuff that we're always going to need um, and Abilene is just such a safe place with all that that's included here. Um, the opportunities for jobs are endless at Hendrix and regional and just all the things you could think of that, yeah, all that fun stuff. So number 17, we have a bunch of historical things to see in Abilene. So we have Frontier, Texas, which we're going to show in a video coming soon. It's a really cool thing to check out, like the history of Abilene mm -hmm. with all the buffalo and everything like that. And then we have Buffalo Gap Historic Village, which is another thing to check out. Um, we have the state park, and that has a pool. I mean, I used to spend countless days yeah, there during the summer. <laughs> um, there's hiking trails. There's um, all kinds of stuff that you can have. There's volleyball pits. And yeah, places it's in, to camp out mm -hmm. there. Yurts. We can show a picture of a yurt <laughs> that they have out there, which is pretty fun. Mm -hmm. So kind of what we've been talking about this whole time, we have a hometown feel, but it's also we're known as the storybook town in Abilene, and when you're driving in, we have this big old board that says that we're the storybook town just because living here, um, you get caught up day to day because it, you have that small town feel. Everybody's yeah. waving at each other and no matter what you know, we're going through, it's just a close-knit community. And also we have a storybook, um, I think it's Dr. Seuss downtown, yeah. where you just walk through it through parks and we have the stories and we have pictures and statues. Yeah. I mean, it's an awesome place to go take your kids or mm -hmm. just when We you went out there the other time. day and there were people like painting mm -hmm. and doing chalk on the ground. So there's yeah. always people out there walking dogs or painting, talking, everything. Mm -hmm. And last but not least, Abilene is right in the heart of Texas. We are two hours from Fort Worth, three hours from Dallas, two and a half from Lubbock. So mm -hmm. Abilene is super centrally mm -hmm. located. It's not far to get anywhere really. We're what, five hours from Houston? Yeah, maybe five, six. six. I mean, you just jump on the interstate and you're there. And always, I mean, we're with the Tanya Harbin team for all your real estate needs and we're going to leave the number right here. Yeah, so if you're looking to buy, sell, invest in real estate, don't hesitate to call us. We know that everyone, again, is getting really stir crazy, as we said before. So it might be a good time to look at houses and you know, stuff like that. Be stir crazy in a new house. And we can <laughs> send you videos of houses if there's any that you want to see. We're doing virtual tours, so you can do that. Um, stay safe with the coronavirus. Stay at home. Um, spend support time with your local family. businesses. Yeah, spend mm -hmm. time with your family. So thanks for watching. <laughs>